And winter showing up in the mountains here over this weekend into the start of this week. Check out East Glacier. Yeah, they don't call it Glacier for nothing. Uh, there was some snow flying in Helena. Still some really strong wind gusts in the last few hours. We've had some gusts up over 50 miles per hour, 55 degrees. The current temperature below average after our stretch last week of above average temperatures and near record highs. Great Falls, what a pretty color it is. And uh, the wind should begin to settle down in Great Falls here soon. It is already uh, settling down for a lot of uh, the high line here is a little more uh, stable air is moving in. But uh, temperatures, 40s, 50s, couple of 60s out there again much cooler weather uh, since about Saturday when that front went through and here are the current sustained winds are right, still pretty windy in Cup Bank and Great Falls but a little lighter wind up across the northern tier of the state and that trend will continue the wind easing up ever so slightly here through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. But the break will be brief because even stronger wind is likely through tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening here for a lot of the state. Power outages possible, maybe some damage to trees and some buildings as well as there could be some gusts between 60 and 80 miles per hour. Today we're generally between 50 and 70, but look at this all the way through tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. Extremely windy conditions before the wind begins to ease up later on Wednesday. We've had our fair share of uh, rain showers and mountain snow. I uh, plotted some of the fire still on here. Uh, the Yogo fire that grew by about 300 400 acres on Saturday before some rain and snow helped out uh, with firefighting efforts uh, yesterday and then also today. Some snow up on the Bob and the Rocky Mountain front here. Some rain showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder crossing the high line. Some very nice rainfall on the Marias and uh, the Missouri as well and some rain showers into northeast Montana. So uh, at least somebody's getting some uh, wet weather out there and most of the stormy weather here in the country will continue to be in the northern Rockies and the Pacific Northwest here over the next few days. So still a few isolated showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, a few flakes of snow in the mountains this evening. Overnight, the wind eases up somewhat here, but the next storm right on our heels, uh, that one will come in tomorrow morning, driving up over Rogers Pass, McDonald Pass, likely a little wet snow tomorrow morning. The snow levels will be rising through the morning hours, mainly looking at just rain, but how about some heavy rain, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder coming through tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and then the snow levels start to lower here. More snow by the time we get into Wednesday. I don't think it'll accumulate much in the lower elevations, but look at that from Lewistown, Haver, Big Sandy, Great Falls, looking at some snowflakes coming through here on Wednesday. So thus the temperatures will be a lot colder. Mountain snow. We see those darker shades of purple. We could be talking more than a foot in the Bob and up around Glacier National Park. Maybe a little coating up to an inch in the lower elevations. Tonight, the wind slowly dying down here over the next few hours, but still some locations holding on to the wind into the overnight hours. And here's the forecast for tomorrow. Another storm system moving in with even stronger wind. Temperatures in the 50s to about 60 tomorrow. And again, in the morning hours, some snow down to mountain pass level, but that snow will be rising. The snow level that is through the day. Wednesday, some snow showers in the lower elevations here and a couple inches accumulating into the higher terrain. Still on the windy side, especially early on on Wednesday. Thursday, maybe a lingering mixed rain or snow shower in the lower elevations. A cool day. Lewistown only 43 for the high on Thursday and then into Friday the warm before the next storm temperatures in the 50s and the 60s, but a sharp cold front will come through here on Saturday, which will lower snow levels down to the valley floors and the plains. Maybe a light accumulation of wet snow in the lower elevations like around Helena and for Great Falls, very strong wind tomorrow into Wednesday, a little nicer for Thursday into Friday and watching maybe the coldest temperatures of the year so far moving in with snow on Saturday.